Hello everybody, happy Friday. I hope you have a great field day or had a great field day if you're watching this after. This is called Nico Draws a Feeling and this book is written by Bob Ratzka and illustrated by Simone Shin. Nico Draws a Feeling. Nico loved to make pictures. Everywhere he went, he carried a box of colored pencils and a pad of paper. Because everywhere he looked, he saw something that inspired him. It might be a mother bird building her nest or the ice cream truck ring-a-linging down the street or the low autumn sun peeking out from behind a cloud. When Nico was inspired, it felt like a window opening in his brain. An idea would flit through the open window like a butterfly flutter down to his stomach, then along his arms and fingers to his pencils, where it would escape onto his paper in a whirlwind of color. It was a wonderful feeling, and Nico tried to capture it as often as he could. Sometimes he showed his pictures to his friends. What is it? One of them would ask. It's the ring linging of the ice cream truck, Nico would answer. It doesn't look like the ice cream truck, someone else would say. It's not the ice cream truck, Nico would explain. It's the ring ling Where's the bell? It's not the bell, it's the ring ling I don't get it. Sometimes he showed his pictures to his parents. What is it, mom and dad would ask. It's the warm of the sun on my face, Nico would answer. I don't see the sun, the dad would say. It's not the sun, it's the warm. Where's your face? It's not my face, it's the warm. Oh. Once he showed a picture to his teacher, Miss Reed. What is it, Miss Reed asked. It's the hard work of a mother robin building her nest, Nico answered. Where's the robin? It's not a robin, it's her hard work. So is this the nest? It's not the nest, it's her hard work. I see, but Miss Reed didn't see. None of them did. One night, Nico sat on his bed thinking about all the pictures taped to his walls. Then he looked at himself in the mirror. He was inspired to make another picture. Only this one he taped to the back of his door where no one else could see it. The next day, Nico was heading out with his paper and colored pencils when he noticed a moving truck next door and a girl about his age. Hi, said the girl, I'm Iris. I'm Nico, hi. What are you doing with that stuff? This, nothing. Are you going to draw? Well, yeah, I like to make pictures. Can I see them? I don't know, Nico said, you might not like them. But I might, Iris answered. Nico decided it would be rude to say no, so he invited Iris over. When they got to his room, Nico waited for her questions, but she just looked and looked. And finally, after looking at every picture in the room, Iris discovered the one behind the door. Wow, said Iris. What, said Nico. You must have been sad when you made this picture. How did you know? Iris thought. It looks how I feel, you know, sad, because I had to move. Suddenly, Nico felt a window opening in his brain. Can I make a picture for you, asked Nico. For me? Sure, said Iris. Like a butterfly, an idea flitted through the open window, fluttered down to his stomach, and then along his arms and fingers to his colored pencils, where it escaped onto his paper in a whirlwind of color. When he was finished, he handed the picture to Iris. This time, Nico asked the question, what is it? Iris looked at the picture for a long time without saying a word. At last, she looked up at Nico. I'm not sure exactly, but it makes me feel like I made a new friend. Nico stared at Iris. You can see that? I can feel it, Iris replied. 
like a butterfly landing on my finger. A butterfly? asked Nico. I know, it sounds weird. Nico smiled. Not to me. The end. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great weekend. Bye, everybody.